So while recording the world record here, I was not able to click pause on the timer quick enough, so I went back into the editor and did it frame by frame, and this is the exact frame that the boss is considered dead. So the real world record time is 2 minutes 58 seconds, but uh, the rest of the video is me talking about the world record and attempting to beat it and the struggles that I went through, so hopefully you enjoy. Today, I'm going to be attempting the Corrupted Dungeon World Record Speedrun attempt, currently held by a YouTuber named Call Me Daryl, who hasn't uploaded in two years. He's held the record for two years at 3 minutes and 40 seconds. So let's talk about the rules. Here's the rules. I'm going to be doing Slayer Corrupted because there's no item power cap. And uh, the run is void if someone invades you because the invader can technically help you and help clear mobs. So this is not allowed. If you are invaded, you have to start the run over. The second rule is that the run is completed when you defeat the main boss of the Corrupted Dungeon. You don't have to defeat all the side bosses. You just have to unlock the main boss and then kill it, and then that is the run time. So I will be doing Slayer Corrupted Dungeon with 2,091 item power, and uh, the run begins as soon as you start moving. Once you zone in, you can look at the map, you can... Do all that kind of fun stuff so we can see the map and plan out our route the timer does not begin yet so this is the main boss room and i want to have a really good route so i should probably it doesn't look like the best spot i think maybe cutting through the middle and then killing that boss might do it or maybe no i think i should go up to the to the left i think i'll take the leftmost route here killing that boss and that might be good enough so the run begins as soon as i start walking forward and uh, yes, I am overcharged. And uh, you can eat your food right now. That's fine. Go ahead and eat your food. Get all your buffs ready. And er all the skills are ready to go. And I am ready to begin the timer. So uh, I'm going to immediately pump a boots, of course, and take the leftmost route here. I really do want to activate my Stalker Spectre Jacket here. And use as many movement abilities as I can. Now, this thing will eat through my health. But uh, I think we're okay. I'm gonna go ahead and try to deal as much damage as quickly as possible to these targets. Go ahead and I'm, I'm going to assume those guys will bleed out. Again, this is my first attempt uh, for, for Slayer at least. Go ahead and get these guys all nice and beat up. And what food am I using here? I'm using the eel. Deadwater eel. That way it gives me damage and cooldown reduction. You can see that I'm taking quite a beating though. My health is not uh, liking where I'm at. So, 3 minutes and 40 seconds is the time to beat, and that lava is going to hurt so bad. But that's okay. Uh, maybe I should have swapped to some sort of healing food. But that's fine. We're just going to kill the mobs as quick as possible. And having a little bit of health issues, but... Really would like to activate the, the, the jacket once again here, but um, I, don't have any, uh, I don't have any heal food swaps, unfortunately. So, maybe that's not the play. But uh, we'll see what happens. Let's just grab everyone we can. And this is going to really drain my health, but hopefully it kills all the enemies very, very fast. There we are. We're already on the first boss now. And I have I don't really have enough health to engage them, but uh, we'll see what happens here. Only at 40%. Alright, let's throw Poison Pot. Hit them with everything we've got. And I'm going to turn on the jacket here, and we're going to try to melt him as fast as possible. Can I tank this? No, I can't. Okay, so now I'm downed. This is eating through the time. I might not have the proper gear to be able to do this. We're already at two minutes, and uh, I'm not even halfway filled. So I don't, I don't think I'm hitting world record time here. Not yet, at least. But um, we will keep trying. That is, uh, that is what we do. We're going to keep trying and see uh, just uh, how you know, quickly we can get this down. I don't know if bear paws are the, you know, king anymore, but uh, we shall try. Also, you know, boss RNG here. I can run from that, I guess. That would have been the smart play. <laughs> and uh, because it's a, we're, we're just doing a world record here, we're, we're not looting chests. That's right, we're not looting chests. Uh, we have more important things to do. <laughs> and that is get a world record. I did not mean to use my third Q ability. That's going to really hurt. Uh, on time. Also, I missed the top mob here, so that's gonna suck too. And yeah, I, I just don't have the sustain for this. <laughs> My health is just getting too low too fast. Also, these guys are gonna range to me, it looks like. And it's really hard to hit both of them with my W. 
And, uh, yeah, I'm, I still have, like, my route sucks, basically. This run's ba pretty much over. We're at three minutes. There's no way I can unlock the boss and kill him in 40 more seconds. So we'll, we'll try again. First run was a no-go. That took, like, four minutes. This time I've got some uh, health regeneration, and let's get another route. Go right, and just kind of clean through all of that, but there's no bosses. So if we go left, boss one, boss two, backtrack, possibly. I think this route might not exactly work, but uh, we're, we're gonna we're gonna go the left route and let's begin the timer. Also, I'm not sure if I should should switch to um, mobility on W, but um, we're just gonna roll with this, and uh, yeah, here we go. Try to hit these guys as fast as possible. Jump past, hit these dudes, and try to make the most out of our armor. I didn't even really use our helmet ability. Uh, last run, I'm gonna have to turn the the armor off there, and then these guys I can just kind of slap, and they will die. Just regular attacks, yes. Go ahead and, and turn the jacket on for these dudes. That way we can melt them up nice and fast. There we go. Hit the big boy here. Fortunately, that will pop me backwards, so I have to turn the jacket back off. Again, bad luck with the bat spawns. I think it's entirely just luck based on how fast you can actually truly do this. But I, I could be wrong. It could be skill. It could be a skill issue. But again, no one's broken the record in like two years. And this is, you know, I'm, I'm really tryharding. Because he, he actually set the record in like 6.2 or something. And I'm using like 8.4. Tier 8.4 didn't exist two years ago. So, uh, you know, I'm really going hard here. <laughs> I'm also going hard with the, you know, over overcharge and max spec as well. So definitely going really, really hard on this one. Go ahead and just turn on the armor for him there. Hit him with the W once again, and then that kills him. Also, I think he might have looted chests in his run too. But hey, you know, we someone's got to break this world record at some point, man. Someone's got to do it. We're just going to walk past the, uh, the imp there. Very cool. Really wanting mobility on my W now <laughs> instead of more damage. But we'll see. We'll see if it pays off in the end. That should bleed him out. Should. There it goes. Hit these guys. Hit them with the W. The double Q. Go ahead and turn the jacket back on. Try to burn this one down as quick as we can. Very fast time on that. And uh, I have the jacket already on for the second boss here. And, uh, yeah. We're doing alright so far. I mean, that's really draining my health, though. <laughs> I'm gonna have to turn that off now. Hit him with the poison potion. Maybe we should bring heal pot. I'm not sure. Okay, so there we go. Now we just backtrack, get to the boss, and we are at, what, 2 minutes 20 seconds? We've got a minute and 20 seconds to kill this guy. And uh, because I can't regenerate, let's go with basic beef stew. I think that's the play here. And we'll, we'll eat that. That's 17.5% increased damage. And you know what? I really want to save my boots for the damage so I can snapshot it with... Um, <laughs> With the jacket. Let's not get hit by the freaking <laughs> lava, though. That would really suck. Alright, these mepits are uh, boosting me. Or whatever they're called. Actually, that, wor that worked really, really nice. Alright. So, let's uh, snapshot that. Get this in there. Get him with some bleeds. And we've already taken a lot of his... Are we going to do it? I don't know if we're going to do this. Alright, and... Oh, no, that's bad. I, I messed up on my cues. I can get my armor back. That's fine. Oh, no, no, no. Let's not get down. That would ruin the run. All right. Did we do it? 34, 35. We did it. 35. Okay, we barely beat the world record. <laughs> oh, like four seconds. I thought I would beat it way faster than that. All right. New world record, baby. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. Uh, new world record. All right, look at that. There it is. Three minutes, 36 seconds. Uh, <laughs> uh, old world record was 340 by call me... What's his name again? Call me Daryl. There we go. And uh, yeah, we beat it three minutes, 36 seconds. You know, I want to I want to try to get a better time than that. I don't know if I go eel. Should I go eel? Evelyn and beef. 
Hmm, I don't know. Let's let's try to beat three minutes and thirty seconds. We we did it. We beat the world record. There it is. All right. Let's uh let's try. We can try again. We can try to beat three thirty six. Three thirty six thirty six. Let's get it on the screen. Uh, current three thirty six by <laughs> by Soul Benji. That's me. Yeah, that's pretty cool, man. And no, this isn't. There's no official like speedruns.com thing of this or anything. But let's reset the timer. And um, I'm going to cut this recording, and then I'm going to re-record so I can edit this easier. Alright, this is attempt number three to break my own record now. And the route I'm going to take is I'm going to go left and clear this, kill boss, kind of clear through here, run down the middle and try to fight the boss there. And we're going to switch to Avalonian Beef Stew for the health regeneration. I think that helped out immensely. And I'm actually going to try Mobility on W this time. And then again, as soon as I start moving, we will start the timer. So let's begin. All right, and let's start. Let's burn through our, our run abilities here. I want to make sure that I use my W when I have an enemy to hit. That way I can, you know, snapshot that damage. There. Hopefully they bleed out. They do. Very cool. Activate the armor here. And yeah, I'm going to get blown back by that. But So I'm going to try to kind of get it on the side there. That way it doesn't knock me too far back. And, you know, I'm just going to have to stand in these. It sucks to do, but, uh, them's the breaks. Also, we're gonna cancel this, redo this, redo this, reactivate armor, try to hit these guys, kill them as fast as possible with Bedford Cape. Very cool. Run through the dogs. Come on, dog. Stop howling. Just die already. Avoid the lava pool. Go to the left. Let's go ahead and use our mobility there. Use boots. All right, this one, this one's looking pretty smooth. I'm, I'm liking this run. This run feels nice. Let's kite some of these mobs into the lava, maybe. That would speed things up a bit. I'm not the best when it comes to utilizing the traps for PVE, but we'll see. All right, that takes those out. Get into the boss. We don't have any of our cooldowns for the boss, but that's fine. Uh, we're just gonna fight them naturally until we get some stuff up. Go ahead and hit them with the bleed there. And I think I activate armor after he does his big AoE. Just coming up. Here it is. We're going to mobility, mobility, armor, double slash, and then we're just going to stand on him. Reposition near the doorway, and there it is. I have the health regeneration from the Avalonian Beef Stew, which is fine. Go ahead and kill this thing. Very cool. Kill these guys. And I didn't mean to use my third Q, that's fine. It's it's okay, because we can just repop. That'll explode us. Oh no, the dogs didn't die from the explosion. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Alright. I'm gonna cut through the middle now. That's gonna slow us down. It's okay though, because we're killing whatever this thing's called. Kill dog. And uh, we need... We're doing alright, we're two minutes in. Not bad. Try to get these guys hit. Deal as much damage as fast as possible. And we need 40 more to engage boss. I think these give 20. Maybe. I don't know. I missed one of the cues on the dog. Okay, we got him. Let's run to the boss. We're at, we, we, could, we could beat our old time. Hit the bats for the explosion buff. There we go. I could have I swapped uh, to a different stew, but there was no time. We just got to go with it. Let's uh, activate the armor. <laughs> Throw the, the poison pond, of course, of course. You know, gotta shred that armor. Don't mess up my cues this time. We could probably kill the boss a little bit faster. Still still doing very, very good here. Maybe health pot might be better for bosses. Okay, yeah, we got him. No! No! No, is there... I don't think there's time. That would have been a really good time. Damn it! I, I, was I in the explosion? All right, well, th that runs a wash, okay? We're not killing him in 20 seconds. Damn it. That would have been the new record, but we messed it up. Oh, whatever. I'm just going to kill him and try again. Uh, we need to switch to beef stew before the... If we switch to beef stew on the way, we would have gotten that. Easy. That would have been real easy, right? Also, how many... I don't know how many potions I have left. I'm going to save it for the next run, I guess. Oh, man. Also, I'm overclocked, so this stuff's gonna break pretty soon. And if I don't get a better time, someone's just gonna come by and beat it that knows what they're doing in this dungeons, man. 
<laughs> It'll be a very short-lived, like, one-day world record. Okay. Alright. Uh, next dungeon. Alright, okay. We- <laughs> Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it, man. Alright, let's clear the timeless. We would have had that. We were so close. Okay. Um, this- This looks a little more convoluted here. We can go... Hit that boss. And then hit middle. I think that's I think that's the play. We got Ava Beef Stew still active. Everything's good, and uh, let's start the timer. All right, and let's start running. Start running. We gotta hit our W so we can keep it going there. Activate armor. Start just start killing. We gotta get lucky with the bat spawns. Hit these guys. Make sure we get them at least twice. There we are. Hit these guys. Hit them twice. Run past. Maybe auto attack it one more time. Come on, bleed out thing. Oh no, there was an explosion bat there. All right, use helmet, use mobility. Turn it back on for this guy because he's a big boy. These guys hit pretty hard. They have a lot of health. Trying to jump over the bat. There we go. It's. it's uh, I don't. How are we gonna do on this boss? Are we gonna do all right? Let's poison pot him. Hit, hit the cues. Try to start positioning him near the next doorway. This thing is draining my health. I gotta make sure that I, you know, maximize it. Okay, he's gonna do the flying thing now. That's fine, whatever. I have nothing to attack these two with. Just auto attacks, I guess. No abilities. We had the Thetford Cape coming in clutch there. Took them out. Hit these guys with the bleeds, the double bleeds. Took them out too. I didn't mean to use my boots there, but that's fine. Maybe we can make a little play here. I got my W. Coming up, W. Hit the armor. Kill him. Run to big boys. These guys have a little, little bit more HP, so they take a little bit longer to kill, but that's okay. I'm slowed. That's not good. Also, I don't want to activate these slow bats, but hey, we can jump over them. That's fine. And... So far, so good. We're at 1 minute 47 seconds. Only 400 more points to activate the boss. Uh, are we going to be able to do that in the next room or two? I think we are. Now let's, uh... No, I didn't mean to third Q. Oh, no, no, no. 1740. I'm going to go ahead and... No, that was probably a bad play to act. I, I need to save my armor for the boss. Because I won't have... Oh, I keep using the third Q. I'm so nervous. Guys, I'm so nervous. All right. 1980. We need... One more animal. One more creature. Is there at least a... Yeah, there's there's this guy. This little dweeb over here. And we're going to switch to our stew. Okay, switch to stew. And then eat that. There we go. Uh, we're going to hit the boots. Hit the W. Hit the R. Poison potion him immediately. This one is a little harder. No! No! I, I ate that damage. I ate that damage. I don't think I can do this. Let's see if I can get him with that. This is gonna be real close, man. I keep I have to turn it off. We're still good time. We're we're an okay time. We're, we got this. And there it is. 259. That was 259. I didn't hit pause fast enough. That was uh, that was still a 259 if you do it frame by frame, I'm pretty sure. Alright, new world record. <laughs> uh broke dang it. Broken again. 259. Check the vid. <laughs> I didn't pause in time. All right. So there we go. Two minutes, 59 seconds to run a corrupted dungeon. And uh, this is the gear I use. I use the Spectre Hood, the Spectre Jacket, the Royal Sandals, the Bear Paws. I used Beef Stew, swapped with Avalonian Stew. I tried it first with Dead Water Eel because I thought cooldown reduction, I could run faster more often. Uh, I also used Major Poison Potions. There we go. These are all, you know, point threes and point ones. And, of course, uh, you know, Thetford Cape. Uh, this can be improved by using Masterpiece, bleh, masterpiece gear. These are overcharged, so they will break. Um, possibly in the next nine minutes. Anyway, world record. Two minutes, 59 seconds for Corrupted Dungeons. It has been deeth... Call Me Daryl has been dethroned after two years. But, hey, show me... Let, let's try to get this time even faster, guys. I know there's going to be someone out there that thinks of themselves as the Corrupted Dungeon Master. I am not a Corrupted Dungeons Master. I am very crappy at this dungeon. 
And if I, like, I have the world record set, you could beat this. You could totally dethrone me and take my time. Let's see it happen, guys. I'm so busy. Thanks for watching. As always, be a bro and stay. So hopefully you enjoyed. Um, I could probably get this even faster, but I, I don't, I don't want to keep doing this. I need to do dishes. I need to clean some dishes, guys. Please leave a like, leave a comment. Become a channel member down here. Five bucks a month supports me. Okay. Click that channel button. I have lost over 180 channel members in the last month. That is uh, that is making me super hungry. I, I need some of you guys to come back. Please, uh, you know, five bucks a month. Click the join button. You get access to private, more personal videos. Anyway, uh, other than that, make sure you're subscribed. We're, we're almost at 100,000. And on the right side of your screen is a video you should absolutely click. If you don't click it, you won't beat this time. Also, you're wondering if the overcharge is going to break. Well, let's find out, okay? Nope. Nope. And... Aw, oh, lucky! 